It's a great tool for them to use when we go into the muscles and when we go into the bones. And it's easier for them to understand the material when I'm pulling back the layers opposed to them looking at the models in the classroom. Although the models are amazing, nothing beats a 3D table. These are real people that actually died. So when they were put into the system, whatever happened to them when they died or how they died, so the issue like with their vertebra or whatever the case may be, it's gonna be on here. This is when you want to view the whole entire body. It will look like this. Mm -hmm. The next view is going to be histology. So this is going to show you all the tissues. So you're going to come here, press this button, mm -hmm. and it's going to give you all the tissues. Mm -hmm. So you have your epithelial tissues, your connective mm -hmm. tissues, your muscular, and nervous tissues. Wow. wow. I started Mercy in undergrad, born and raised in the Bronx, New York. So I was always like Team Bronx and for Mercy being one of the very few colleges in the Bronx, I was able to continue my education here. And then when I found that Mercy had a PA program, that just made me even more overjoyed that I could continue to serve my community in the Bronx one day. And you guys can actually see the beating of the heart. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. It also beats textbook reading because to have that 3D model to actually move around and manipulate, it just makes me feel like um, I'm on the right track. We um, got to see how the arteries and the veins are moving through the circulatory system. That's not something you get to see in a textbook or even on a cadaver. That's something you get to see in a very live action before you even reach clinicals. We get to the GI track. You can do that as well. You can see the small intestines and all three parts of the small intestines. You can see the whole body together instead of navigating a page at a time. And you can see them where it's connecting, where it's forming. So I think that's very unique. I also like the visual aspect of it that you can really move uh, the cadaver and you can see each layers and what they're telling you, the insertion origin, and it's gonna be easier for you to memorize. Whatever topic that we're discussing the case study about, we'd be able to refer back to this and we'd be able to see like um, what exactly we need to pinpoint and how when disease or illness can affect the entire body as a whole. Say someone has pain in their back area and then we just press on the different layers of it we could like figure out where we're going from there. It's going to be able to help me read EKGs because there is an EKG feature on there. There are CAT scans and MRI features on there. So I know when I move along I'm going to be able to help others because I got that foundation here.